my God, welcome back to my YP channel. This is again, I am a singer, eternal voice. Oh. Hello guys, it's been a long time that I did not get Low battery. Oh my gosh, low battery. I was not able to do my live streaming. Okay, but before we start, guys. Low battery. Oh my gosh. My low battery sha. So I have to do this without microphone. Okay, so um, now it's about time to live stream once again. So a couple of weeks uh, I did the distillation, um, physical and chemical separation processes unit operation discussion in my live streaming. Okay, but I'm not really that aware. <laughs> but I, I know also that distillation is one of example of mass transfer. Okay. So basically, this is a mass transfer. So what is really a mass transfer? But before that, guys, I want to congratulate to engineer Vince A. Dapanas, top number nine chemical engineers board examination on October 2021 from Cebu Institute of Technology University, my alma mater. Diba? And I was not able to correct at first because I posted in my Facebook account. I congratulate Mr. Galicio Bato. Ms. Engineer Galicio Bato is also a chemical engineer top notcher from Cebu Institute of Technology University, year 2017. But somebody chatted me in my FB Messenger. It's not Mr. Carlos Galicio. It is Engineer Vince Ada Panas, okay? Now, in the October 2021 result of Chemical Engineers Licensure Examination. Congratulations, top number nine. You did it. Okay. Hello, Tikno, Cebu Institute of Technology University. We're very, very proud of you. Okay. Going back to our live streaming regarding chemical engineering mass transfer. Okay, so what is this all about? <laughs> you can ask Engineer Vince the Panas, <laughs> our newest top toucher. <laughs> What's this all about? Okay, when you speak about mass transfer, there's involvement of a mass, okay? So if there is a movement in terms of uh, mass, specifically the concentration gradient as a driving force, then it is a mass transfer. So there's a lot of mass transfer. I already discussed the formulas and equations and theories for distillation. Because distillation is an example of mass transfer and their unit operations. But there's a lot also. Distillation, liquid-liquid extraction or extraction, like that. Adsorption, absorption, membrane separation processes, and a whole lot more. Okay, so it depends on the driving force. Okay, but now I will discuss to you now. So the relation to ideal gas law because normally we will be able to connect the ideal gas law to the mass transfer when we deal with the concentration gradients. Okay, so there's a lot of you know derived formulas and equations for this coming from the ideal gas before going further. Okay, but we need to know the definition for this. The mass transfer is a transport of a component, okay, from a region of a higher concentration to that lower concentration. It's gonna be like this, guys, if you're talking about transport phenomena. Okay, it always starts with a, uh, you know, chuva chuchu to lower chuva chuchu. For example, momentum transfer, it is a transport of a liquid or a gas from a higher velocity to the lower velocity. Okay, the velocity gradient or the velocity difference. The same also with the heat transfer. Okay, a transport of one component to another, could it be a liquid or a gas 
from a high temperature to lower temperature. So always put that in your brain cells. It's going to be like that from higher to lower, from higher to lower, okay? Including also the electrochemistry, okay? Starting with a high electrical potential to lower electrical potential, from high current to lower current, from higher voltage to lower voltage, okay? So that's going to be the spontaneous when it will be able to act or to proceed by its own something like that without any additional energy or you did not do anything for the particular process spontaneous so it's gonna be from high to low something like that so be careful also in the theory questions okay in the chemical engineering board examination this chemistry board examination or any science related courses uh, licensure board examination okay guys now I'll be able to show to you the basic equation of an ideal gas. Gas, gas, because it's been used a lot of times by chemical engineering students, especially third year to fifth year chemical engineering students. That's so with first year college and second year college, but you know, it could not be denied. There's also some problems related to gas, especially the, you know, you know what I mean, a lot of Combined gas law, okay, the, you know, the Charles law, gay low sucks law, like that, you know that point, okay, the gay low sucks law, uh, Boyle's law, Charles law, the Dalton's law, partial pressure, okay, nine, be bad, the Henry's law, the Reels law, okay, and a whole lot more, and also the Van der Waals equation pertaining to non-ideal gas law, okay, ganon siya. So guys, if we really try to solve in ideal cost manner uh, problems, we need to account, guys, ha, that this will occur only under one mole of ideal gas or solution at standard temperature and pressure. Okay, what do we mean by standard pressure? It is one atmosphere equivalent to 760 mmHg, 760 torr, 1.013 bar, something like that. You get the point? Okay, so you can convert that also to mmHg or let's say kilopascal. Okay, the kilopascal. You know what's the value of a kilopascal? For that, 1,000, 1.013. Okay, 1.013 kilopascal is close to one atmosphere. You, you can convert that to kilo, time you can get on, so it could become 10,013 or whatever. <laughs> 10,013, right? Or uh, pascal, because kilopascal is greater than, uh, kilopascal is greater than pascal, right? 1.013 kilopascal is equal to. Uh, it times the number should cut to low, so it's going to be 1,000, okay? So move three places, something like that. I'm not really that sure that's only what stacked in my brain cells, but you have to convert that using the uh, Newton per square meter, square meter, the unit of pressure. Then you can play around the conversion factors for that, as long as you know the other standard values for the pressure, okay? So, okay, like that. Okay, now we'll introduce to you the, the gas gas. The gas gas yung palagi na lang ginagamit sa mga ano. So it's not only chemical engineering students, it's also mechanical engineering students. Okay, which is more closer to our course. Okay, because we have also thermodynamics, uh, okay, fluid dynamics. So we almost have the same subjects, but they are just more on the, you know, equipment. Okay, stationary and rotating equipment, something like that. But we are more on the chemical reactions and chemical processes. Of course, chemical processes and chemical reactions are within the equipment. Okay, so it could not be denied that the studies are almost closely related to us. Something like that. Okay, we have common subjects. The mechanical engineering and the chemical engineering is very really close with each other. Silingan na sila. Okay, like that, and also a little bit of related to electrical engineering, okay, because 
electrical engineering are also focusing with electrons flow okay an electron is an elementary particle we need to study also electrons okay in our course so basically related related like shock. okay it's gonna be like that what else so three only closely related with each other the electrical the mechanical engineering chemical engineering also the metallurgical engineering and the mining engineering and the other one also is environmental okay guys Environmental engineering, uh, mining engineering, metallurgical engineering, chemical engineering, electrical engineering, and mechanical engineering are closely related with each other. Not so much with the civil engineering, not so much also with the industrial engineering, okay? So our subjects is somewhat uh, related to Vachucho because I love also the examples of mechanical engineering, thermodynamics, really, and heat transfer through conduction oh my gosh it's almost the same really okay so we have commons that's why we have this in the general engineering the strength no strength of materials or the engineering mechanics from, okay <laughs> common to all engineering students okay like that so going back sorry okay guys I'm going to the microphone I miss vlogging and live streaming because you know I have problems with my date not data, settings of my file. Okay, really, so I have this. P, oh my gosh, there's no one shot. Guys, if mass transfer, we need to remember the mass flux. What is mass flux, Sir Sotero? Mass flux is equal to the rate of transfer or the rate of the mass transfer over the area. Okay, when you talk about flux, L U X, always take note and into the consideration that the area must always be in the denominator and the numerator will be the rate of transfer could either be heat transfer momentum transfer and mass transfer okay so imagine the timan aning aning yung situation the denominator will be the surface area the numerator could either be the rate of transfer of whatever it could be momentum okay transfer the rate of momentum transfer the uh, heat transfer and the mass transfer okay it's gonna be the flux f l u x okay so ganun siya uh, interesting heat transfer is more interesting for me i love compared to the mass transfer because the little kid can sa mass transfer wow <laughs> really i love heat transfer okay so involving temperature, heating, process, something like that. Because it's easy to understand for me because it's, it can be applied in daily, daily ala tool. In daily, you know, in every day of our lives. We make, we make coffee. Oh my gosh. There's a heat transfer through conduction, heat transfer to convection, heat transfer through radiant energy due to the heat of the sun through radiation. Okay? Heat transfer through conduction that's going to be applying the, you know, the fixed law of diffusion okay you have to account that one mr fix a scientist to discover the law of diffusion okay in the heat transfer okay there is also an equation for that specifically okay yes it's gonna be no it's not sorry it's four year four year four year law of conduction Sorry po, sorry po mga chemical engineers, na bailo siya. So, sa mass transfer, it's the fixed law of diffusion. Okay? Huwag <laughs> ko nag-remember. Good. Okay, this is uh, on the spot. My gosh! Okay? Okay? So, ganun siya. So, PV and RT. Oh my gosh! I know somebody favorite, this formula is very favorite to some or more of the chemical engineering students okay because this is very familiar it's easy to detect okay like that pv and rp this one okay we need to connect this to mass transfer quantities ha huh? because mass transfer quantities is the concentration gradient okay so now we need to relate the ideal gas to, okay, ideal gas, we need to relate to, not really gas only, ideal solution. Okay, guys, something like that. But before going further, 
uh, if we speak about ideal, that could mean one molar A, our basis of calculation, at standard temperature and pressure, and also the compressibility, <laughs> compressibility factor Z is equal to 1, and also the activity coefficient is equal to 1. Okay? When we know activity coefficient, it talks about the relative volatility. Okay, so guys, so if you're thinking of chemical engineering, so be prepared that you shall a troubleshoot with some of relative volatility. Ganon. Okay, activity coefficient. So, magbalik-balik na yun siya, guys. From first year college to fifth year college. So, better memorize na yun siya. What is activity coefficient? Relative volatility. Ganon-ganon siya. Chuka-chuchu. Okay? So, ganon. So, ideal gas or solution. Okay, because solution normally have concentration, right? Okay. Okay, ganun ganun siya. Guys, very important also chemistry, ha? Factors affecting the solubility and the concentration. Uh, temperature, pressure, the nature of solute and solvent, uh, catalyst, ganun. So, you should also remember that one factors that affecting the solubility and the concentration of the solution or the mixture. Something like that, okay? So, build your knowledge with a basic foundation, okay? So, ideal gas solution directly proportional to the, let's say, we really, we lead this to the number of moles, small letter N. Guys, anybody here? <laughs> Can you hear me? Okay. So, number of moles, okay. So, I love this number of moles because I can remember also the relationship with the volume of the gas in Dalton's law of, Dalton's law of partial pressure, okay. So, I love this also, okay. Directly proportional also to the mass, okay. So, mass, then if we have the mass, then we can troubleshoot the molar mass, right. And then the concentration, okay. Let's denote concentration as a capital C. And then if we put subscript capital A and capital B, that means that it's a species. Okay? Species A, species B, species C, or we can say that another way around, component A, component B, component C, or we can say that another way around, substance A, substance B, substance C, or we can say that another way around, element A plus element B plus element C, like that. There's a lot of terminologies, okay, to be inserted, not only focusing to one term. Be careful also, ha? Be dealing with uh, formulas and equations, okay? Molecular weight, and then also, so with regards to the density, how light the solution, how light the liquid or how clear the liquid that will pass through, you know, from this channel to one medium to another medium, to another pipeline, to another pipeline, to the vessel going down, going up, to the choo -choo, like that, okay? So the density is very important also. How denser this uh, liquid compared to the other. So when we mean this is a low density, so oh my gosh, this substance is a low boiling point, and it's also related to the molecular weight, something like that. Okay, and then you have to, say, oh my gosh. So uh, I can say also now if you try to you know insert all oh, makabu ang chemical engineering, really, okay. So it's a headache, but you have to. <laughs> You to strive your best, okay? Understand, comprehend, and memorization, okay? That's one I can advise really to become a licensed chemical engineer is to understand, comprehend, and memorize, okay? It's not enough you are good in mathematics. You should memorize, okay? Because if you are just only good in mathematics and you are not encountering this kind of topic then it's also you cannot also answer you get the point okay for example uh using finke's merrill finke's equation in 1934 compute the minimum number of trays of your distillation unit oh nga, nga. okay what's the finke's 
equations or something. Like, oh, I never encountered this when I was in college. So it will it will have a lot of research because it is also part of distillation under mass transfer. It is very very far na siya talaga on the uh, last part. Okay, because it could not be denied, not all topics can be discussed in our curriculum in chemical engineering. Really, if we have 100%, maybe only 70% are being discussed in our five-year curriculum. In the rest will be your effort. Really, okay, the rest will be your effort because some topics, though not very major, major, not important, are not really discussed. Okay? And sometimes it come out to the exa future examination and board examination. For example, calculate the number. <laughs> so, calculate the area of the more volatile component against the less volatile component. Okay, by using Rayleigh equation. Oh, it's not really equation. Oh, nga nga. Okay, because we are only exposed to McCabe field method in the distillation, right? In the continuous flush distillation and also in the fractionation, fractional tower. The, the, you know, the bigger fractionation tower used in petroleum industry or refining industry produced uh, natural gas, methane gas, propane, butane, and petroleum industry or producing gasoline, kerosene, fuel, fuel oils, and uh, naphtha, vitamin, like that. Chuba chucho, okay, jet fuel also. It's coming from crude oil as a raw material. So it undergoes fractional distillation, okay? Without that, we don't have gas that we enjoy all over the world, okay? So that's uh, coming from the process called fractional distillation, okay? So without fractional distillation, our cars will not move because we cannot get gasoline. Uh, Okay, our unneeded gasoline immediately by our hands, manually. We should process that in a fractional distillation. So imagine how important the chemical engineers really are. Okay? So without us, your cars will not be moving. Okay? Because we produce gasoline. Okay? Kerosene. Okay? So that's under chemical engineering. Okay? The process chemistry for that is very important. Okay, guys? So, going back to the relationship between ideal gas solution to other quantities also. <laughs> yes, I have to share with you guys, okay? Density. So, if we talk about density, guys, so it could not be denied. It's also related to the volume. Okay, the volume is inversely proportional to the density. Okay, the more it has a high volume, it has less than, it's less denser over the other. Okay, because it is inversely proportional with each other. Okay, we got a point. Oh my gosh. Okay, like that. So, density. Ito lang muna. Actually, so many pa siya. Okay, mayroon mga uh, diffusion coefficient, viscosity, mga later na lang yun. Those are physical properties, ha? Uh, melting point, boiling point, viscosity, uh, specific gravity, okay? Surface tension, density, Okay, freezing point, something like that, and a lot, and a whole lot more. Okay, uh, dew point, boiling point, bubble point, something like that. Okay, flash point of different substances. Okay, critical point. Okay, my gosh. Okay, equilibrium point, uh, saturation point, right? Saturated liquid and saturated vapor in thermodynamics with regards with a refrigerant and steam, something like computation also, by using a graph. So it's related also in this, uh, you know, unit operations. And you have to connect somewhere along the way, ah! Okay? Like that. And I want to talk about it. If applicable, it will not be Okay? Because it uh, the compressibility factors is very important. When to determine if it's an ideal or non-ideal. If it is an ideal, do not apply this ideal. If more than one and less than one, this is only good if the compressibility factor Z is equal to one or the activity coefficient is equal to one at standard temperature and pressure. 
in which it will occupy a volume of 24.414 liter of a volume. Ganon. Okay? So, ganon siya chuva, chuva. That's why, guys, an ideal solution, an ideal gas. Okay, related to Japanese, siya mas transfer. Mo cancel din na premise sa volume. I-assume din na to ang volume ng marag. Ah, okay. <laughs> Constant. Ganon. Okay, so that mo simplify na dayon ta. Ano, ano naman na yun, di ba? Okay, sa makarelate. Okay. Murag na nagduwa na ta. Malingaw na man ta. Na kayo mag-cancel da yun. O, di ba? Okay, going back to this one. Okay, guys. Now, what is the formula of density in our grade school level, grade 5 or grade 6? I think so. It has been told already in science basic lang talaga siya. Density is equal to mass over volume and again it will be repeated in high school and again it will be repeated in college. Shadow dito mga masters of the formula of density. Okay? So, mass over volume. Okay, my gosh. Guys, yung ano yung siya guys ha? Uh, you know, maximize good siya. Okay? And if you have formula uh, elucidated by your instructor, elucidated and presented by your instructor, okay, so all you have to do is to maximize each quantity. For example, density is equal to mass over volume. Or what is another formula for mass? What is another formula of volume? Oh, ganon. It's not enough. No, umutra ka sa density is equal to mass over volume. Okay? This is gonna be the the mentality and the culture and the attitude and the habit of a scientist and an engineer that you will maximize a uh, term in a scientific law or a scientific equation. And then, so that you can derive another formula out of it and you have to correlate all the mathematical formulas in science also. Okay? That's very clear. Okay, guys. Okay, so kapoy juko because I, you know, I really troubleshoot the KPI. You know KPI, K performance indicator. Wow. We kapoy juko na sakit kung ulo. Okay, so we need to determine the OSH. Okay, occupational safety health K performance indicator. Okay, so the country reports. Sorry that I did not do my vloggings and live streamings. Oh, nakapokus lang ko sa safety documentation. Okay? Like that. So, uh, within this, I think, last two weeks, I am not visible in the field because I am used <laughs> in the safety documentation system. Okay? So, a lot of, you know, safety, cake performance indicators. Maglabat yun akong ulo, in fairness. Okay? And then, now, I love to vlog. <laughs> and I love to st live stream again to my course, Chemical Engineering and Sciences, right? Okay, we'll po all naman ng safety. Okay? So, at least I am not stagnant, right? Oh, guys, are you still there? So, magsugod yun sa mga pinakasayun, and then going little, little gradually to a little more easy, average, and a little bit complex or difficult but not really too much difficult okay nobody wants difficult right okay like that okay density okay the noon okay guys density mass over volume okay very simple right density is called mass over volume the quantity here uh, the volume and the mass and density and the volume is present in your ideal gas equation. Okay, here. PV and RT. So substitute the value of volume here. So we need to solve the, va the volume by using algebra, using the crest cross multiplication method of identifying the quantity or the variable. So I don't have to show because this is very elementary mathematics. Huh? If you are taking engineering course, criss-cross multiplication, and then you have to divide so that it will be cancelled and simplify something like that. No need to elaborate. Okay? This is also applied in high school mathematics, algebra. Okay? Basic mathematical operation. Okay? So, if we solve for the value of volume, this will become to mass over density. Okay? 
So, mass over density na yun siya. Okay? Mass over... Uh, okay. Okay. So, volume is equals to mass over density. And this volume mass over density is substitute in your ideal gas law. Here. Okay? Here. So, ato na siyang substitute. Then, P is equal to uh, mass times density. Okay? Then, N, R times T. Okay, let's evaluate each quantity so that we can understand really. So, P is pressure. N is mass. Okay? And then, this is density. Rho is a Greek symbol of density. Rho. Okay? Along with a omega, theta, phi, like that. Okay? Epsilon. Symbols only. Okay? And now, uh, equal to the number of moles molar N. Walang katapusang uh, number of moles molar to N. Okay, the unit of the amount of substance is a mole. Okay, if the question in science in the future, you'll be facing examination. If you are joining all the science fair, quiz bowl, like that. If the question will say, Blanc is the unit of the amount of substance. Okay, your answer will be mole. M-O-L-E. Because that is the unit amount of the substance, or basic unit of the amount of substance in all chemical reactions. Okay, it's very clear, huh? Okay, now times R. The capital R have three different uh, meanings. It could either be a uh, universal gas constant. It could either be also a simply as gas constant. Or it's also called as specific gas constant. Choose one of the three terms that you, you are comfortable with. But most of the engineering students or chemical engineering students prefer the most simple one, which is gas constant lang yun siya. Okay, but what I mean, there are other terms for this. It could either be universal gas constant and specific gas constant is the capital R here in the equation of an ideal gas equation or the general gas equation. Okay, ideal gas equation is the same as general gas equation. Okay, so if... Gonna be like that. Not all the time ideal, ideal word. It's also general gas equation. Means ideal gas equation. Okay? So times capital T. Capital T is a uh, constant to be capital T because that is Kelvin. Okay? Kelvin meaning uh, you have to add 273. If it's still Celsius, if it's Fahrenheit, you have to convert to Chu Chu. I already uh, taught, teach you that, right? I taught you Previously, right, how to compute for Celsius, Fahrenheit, Rankine, there are only four units of temperatures, then you know all the formulas for this, because this is very basic. Guys, temperature has the greatest influence, okay, in affecting the solubility and the concentration of solution mixture. Remember this, temperature, okay, and also the highest influence affecting the chemical reaction. Okay? If the question in the future also, in the board examination or in the future science examination will say, Blanc, that has a greatest factor that influence, that affect the, and influence the solubility and the concentration of solution. A, temperature. B, pressure. C, kinetic energy. D, the number of moles. E, by adding a catalyst. Your answer will be temperature. Okay? This is has a great factor and has a highest influence in chemical reaction, okay, in a solution or mixture. This is basic only, ha? Huh? Okay, you need to memorize. Just engrave that in your brain so that it is the temperature that has a greatest influence that affect the chemical reaction in a solution or in a mixture, okay? That's very clear. Okay, this is the B is equal to density like this, okay? That's why in react chemical reaction kinetics, our diagram will always be the temperature and the reaction constant or the reaction rate. Okay, because it's the temperature really matters a lot, especially in Arrhenius equation and in the earring Punyali equation, right? I derived that already each formulas and equations, how to do it. Okay, and you should remember that one also. Okay? Because we don't know, it will be applied on mass transfer. Okay? So, then we shall guys and solve for the density. Okay? 
So density is equal to, okay, then ganun siya. Again, algebra, crisscross multiplication. Okay? Crisscross meaning butangan ni mo x. Okay? And then that, that direction will be going there, will be going there in the diagonal. Something like that. Okay? So, no need to elaborate farther. Okay? So, the, our denominator will be the mass. Okay? And our numerator will be the, okay, will be the pressure. Right? Pressure. Because it's gonna be the density and R, T, right? And then it's gonna be uh, PM. Criss cross multiplication will be density, the number of moles times the universal gas constant times the capital T is equal to the pressure times the mass. Then compute for the density. So density is equal to the pressure times the mass over the number of moles and the specific gas constant times the capital T. And this is our equation in terms of the density. Okay? Like that. Okay, so if the problem in the future examination will ask for the density, do not be afraid. Okay, because we can derive the formula of density. Okay, you should connect. We can only connect. But sometimes also, the you know, our instructor will never go with this because, you know, they are stick on the present topic. Okay, they will never interest more on the connection. In the exam, you will do that, sure. Okay, they will give an, ex uh, an exam that is try to connect other equations. But then in their sample problem, they will never do that. They will stick to the book. Okay, so that's the trick. They trick the students if they understand or not. And they trick the students if they really are in having initiative and resourceful enough. Okay, to create their own, you know, interest in that particular subject by going to the library, okay, and study more. Okay, it's not enough to defend only to their discussion, really. Okay, that's what I did in college. Okay, it's not enough, really. Okay, get the point? So, uh, maximize your time in studying other topics related to the particular topics that are in your instructors discussed. Okay, guys? So, it would be better also that they will be advanced, okay, so that, you know, so it's, it's very good. You will be in advance also if your instructor are, uh, you know, has in chapter 8, of course, you are now in the chapter 9. So that during the discussion, oh my gosh, you can uh, uh, raise your hand orally like that. Oh, what's this? And mom, sir, oh, ganon, diba? And say, say, special, okay? Maguna dyan ka per me, okay? Ganun siya ang mga technique sa mga, ano yung, mga achievers. Okay. So, density na siya ha. And now we go to the number of moles. Oh gosh. Number of moles. When you speak about the number of moles, it has to do something with the molar mass and the concentration. Okay. Why? Okay. Guys, concentration is moles per liter. Okay. So, I will say Concentration, capital C, ganon. Okay? Ato yung i scrutinize. We should dig it out. Atong toki on. Okay? It's not enough na ana lang siya. Okay? C is equal to uh, number of moles, small letter N, over V. O, muna na siya ang concentration. Capital C is equal to the small letter N, number of moles, over V. And V in terms of liter. Okay, so moles per liter is the popular and famous unit of concentration in terms of molarity. Okay, or it is also known as a molar, M-O-L-E-R, molarity, and moles per liter. And if you want to convert this into molal or molality, have also, okay, like that. Okay, moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. And this is molality. And we can also express this in normality if you want normality, capital N, or normal. Okay? So if you go into the laboratory, the chemistry laboratory, you can see, oh my gosh, uh, 0.25 normality. Okay, how can we compute that one? So this is only the equivalent weight of the solute over the liter of solution. So if we're trying to work as a, a technical analyst or uh, laboratory, technical analyst, or assistant, or whatever you want to do in a laboratory, then you can easily prepare solution having that concept. 
Okay? So you should express the normality and molarity and molality. But the most common is the molar, capital M. Okay? Uh, they put that in the in the battle, in the transparent battle. So if you read acid, HCl, ganon. Magnesium sulfate. Okay, di ba? Okay? Ganon siya. Now, so you don't have to compute farther the normality if you have the molarity. Why? Because the normal normality is just only times the replaceable OH and the replaceable hydrogen during the chemical reaction. Okay, so times are the motion. For example, water. Okay, so uh, H two is O four. Okay, water plus sulfate. So it will react. The sulfate will react to water. So there will be positive two of hydrogen atom that will try to react the sulfate polyatomic and ion. Now the positive two is the replaceable H. So two times the molarity of this solution that will become your normal. Or normality okay solution especially if your job is you try to prepare solutions in the laboratory something like that okay so a key solution lang yun siya okay mali si buhang ninyo okay so kung normality na siya di kung wala molar then you have to compute okay so normality equivalent weight of solute ganganan over the liter of solution ganganan Ganun lang siya. So, equivalent weight of solute is called the molecular weight over the replaceable OH, replaceable H. It depends. If basic ang gigamit ni mo sa solution, yung replaceable OH. It acidic din, replaceable H. Replaceable meaning during chemical reaction. Okay? So, it will be, you know, replaced with one over the other. Okay? Something like that. Okay? Okay. Now, C is equal to NV again, guys. So I will have this equation number one. This is one density is equals to the pressure times the mass over the number of moles and the universal gas constant capital T. Okay, this is equation number one. Okay, and then we have to go to equation number two by using concentration derivation. So here is very clear that we have all the va the volume and the denominator. So we have or n in the numerator. Right? So choose among them. Or we can use the two. Compute for the volumes. Volume will be equal to the number of moles over concentration. And then the values of the volume, substitute that in your PV and RT. Then bingo. You can produce another formula in terms of concentration and the number of moles. Okay, guys? That's very clear. Right? So, the little shot. Okay. So let's get another blank sheet of paper. We should focus on the basic foundation, really. Okay. So it's gonna be like this. So pressure times my gosh, uh, volume is equal to n over concentration. Okay. Hala, cho cho cho. Okay. In R P. Wow, I love this. Okay, when you substitute the Okay, the concentration, no concentration, volume, okay, here, is going to be the equation. Now, if you notice the number of moles over the concentration, then this is in the left side, left side, oh, left side and the right side, there's a commonalities or common to each other. In each side, the common is the number of moles, you have to cancel that one, okay, because it's in the numerator in the coefficient but you, you don't have to cancel that one if the other is in the denominator it's not agreeing with each other okay when we cancel the unit the positioning matters okay top and top down and down you can never cancel if the position and orientation of the variable is opposite with each other because that is inversely proportional with each other that is independent with each other, not dependent and not proportional with each other. So, you cannot cancel those quantities. Okay? Be careful and be clever enough when, when to cancel quantities and variables. Okay? It should be in the same positioning. Top, top, bottom, bottom. Numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator. Ganon. Okay. So, in here, so we can cancel automatically the number of moles and because it's in the numerator in, in the coefficient 
like the coefficient means besides the you know the variable or the integer or digit like that or a number or whatever chuba chu chu. Okay? To padrigid siya, mga siya coefficient, ha? Okay? Okay, let's cancel the n and what we'll left here is we need to solve the concentration. The concentration, okay, P is equals to C R P. Oh, that's it. So pressure is equals to C R P. So this is our equation number two in terms of concentration. Or we can say this as concentration is equal to the pressure over R over T. So we have equation number three. Ganon. So concentration now is equal to pressure over RT. And pressure also is equal to CRT. Guys, the equation of pressure is very useful in hala, colligative property. In the topic of osmosis or osmotic pressure. That's why we have reverse osmosis. Okay? To purify the drinking water from a very salty substance or sea water. Something like that. Okay? So, reverse osmosis will be used here. Drinking water. Producing drinking water or purified water. Okay? By using a membrane filter separation process. Filter medium. So, this formula will be applied. P is equals to CRT, osmotic pressure, or osmosis, the process of having a semi-permeable membrane so that to separate the solid particles to the liquid, okay? And the liquid will be our concern, okay? It could either be purified liquid or, you know, the minerals are removed, not totally removed, at least it has been removed, Especially the suspended solids, total dissolved solids, like that, the iron, the uh, what, uh, turbidity, turbidity, right? Okay, the residues, what else? The coagulates, the precipitates, okay, what else? And a lot, and a whole lot more, okay, in water analysis, okay, something like that. Especially if you are working in a water treatment chemicals, it's very important to analyze the water. Okay, so this is what we do in uh, geothermal power plant in California Energy in Armok City. So I am a chemical te technical analyst for the water treatment chemicals. We need to analyze the water, the parameters of the boiler water, the cooling tower, the potable tower, the portable water supply, and also we need to compute the steam concentration. Okay, like that in the laboratory. Okay, so I did that before when I was young. Okay, in my special specialization as a chemical engineer. Okay, like that. So very, this is very important. This osmotic pressure, right? Okay. <clears throat> so we have three equations. Na talaga siya. Now in here also we are using for the concentrations, and we can also use for the number of moles. But number of moles not really, really that important because it's in the original equation of the ideal gas flow. So what we are going to uh, emphasize now is the volume, in terms of volume, okay? So how can we compute the volume? It is also in the PVNRT, so no need here, okay? PVNRT involves volume and number of moles, no need. Here only terms and quantities that are not found in this PVNRT that we need to correlate, link, to produce and to derive another formulas and equations because we will be using that in our mass transfer topic. Okay, number four, equation number four with regards to uh, with regards to the mass and the molecular weight. Okay, Kanisha. Okay, so we need to compute for the molar mass. Okay, so at least we can have seven equations for that. Seven. So we can play around during our mass transfer equation later on, right? In absorption, adsorption, just this is, never mind with the distillation because we already did that, okay? Liquid liquid extraction, membrane separation processes, like that. Membrane separation processes involves the osmotic pressure in this case, huh? the P is equal to CRP, already have here, huh? but this intensify pa more because we have the mass diffusivity, number one, okay? Mass transfer coefficient, okay? Ay, nako. 
aqui. Grande chagás. Melhor vida, melhor massa, tá? Ok. Molar mass, guys. Oh my gosh. Molar mass is the same as molecular weight. Ha? Huh? Molecular weight. In chemicals or chemical reaction or in chemistry, we are not uh, interested in the gravitational force. Okay? We are not interested for the um, motion and going downward like that because when we mean of weight, okay, it considers the gravitational force directed downward to the earth. And then you'll be able to use also the acceleration due to gravity, okay, which is 9.81 meter per second squared and 32.2, okay, feet per second squared. That is our constant in determining the acceleration due to gravity and the velocity in uh, force, uh, applying force, motion, and downward movement, okay. We are not concerned for that because the reactions are normally not in the downward movement, okay. Like, but in distillation, the reaction will goes up, okay? Because the vapor will goes up, not on the, on the ground, something like that. So we neglect the gravitational force. But we are still using the word weight, okay? W-E-I-G-H-T. Because there's uh, a gray area, G-R-E-Y, uh, misconception between weight and mass. Because there's a difference, as I told you, right? So, your weight in the earth is not the same in your weight in the moon, okay? Because there's no gravity there in the moon. So, your mass will never be equal to your weight. So, but in chemical reactions, we don't apply that, okay? That's why we said molecular weight. If you try to be straight, that is only molecular mass, right? Because we don't consider the weight. But... Uh, the term is not like that. Instead of using the molecular mass, which is precise, we change the term to molar mass. Because molar and molecular is somewhat the same. Okay? You got the point? So molar and molecular is just the same. Because molecules are composed of moles. Okay? Something like that. So, example, one molecule of water. Ang ganan. O, diba? Ganan siya. So, one, uh, for example, one mole of hydrogen gas plus one mole of oxygen is So, the molecule will be the totality. So, actually, that for me, it would, be, it would be precise and technically accurate to use molecular mass, not molecular weight. That I don't have to question the scientist, okay, before in the past, you know, Isaac Newton, Anton Lavosher, okay, and a lot. Okay, because you know, it's already done in the books, okay? All you have to do is to follow, okay? So molecular weight or molecular mass or molar mass is just the same, okay? Now, if you account this molar mass, well, let's, let's just use molecular weight to agree because this is most famous and common, okay? We use this every time, every minute, every second in uh, this chemistry course or in chemistry topics or in chemical engineering course, okay? We always use this molecular weight every day of our lives, okay? Like that, seconds to seconds, minutes to minutes, okay? <laughs> really, okay? So, molecular weight is equal to the mass of a single species, okay? Species, you don't want to go We didn't want mass of the substance, but I like, I love species. Mass of the single species, <laughs> over the okay number of moles of a single species uh -huh. this one molecular weight is equals to the mass of a single species over the number of moles of a single species okay so if there is one compound then you have to do it individually okay like that okay but this is the formula already Okay, so this is the number of moles, and then numerator is grams, so grams per mole. Okay, that is the unit of molecular weight or molar mass. Grams per mole. Now, guys, we have the PV and RP here. Okay, we will relate that to the ideal gas equation. So, which is the quantity nearest to that? Is the N number of moles. So, solve for the number of moles here. 
it relates to the molecular weight. So number of moles, crest cross multiplication using algebra. So we can say number of moles is equal to the mass of a single species over the molecular weight. So specifically the species we are referring to here is the ideal gas or ideal solution, components of an ideal solution, okay, or ideal mixture, okay, something like that. So it's going to be the mass of a single species of the molecular weight. Okay, now substitute this N in the original equation and the ideal gas equation. Okay, so then atong uh, i-substitute, so we can create another equation. Okay, guys, another equation in terms of the, the molecular weight na talaga. Okay, so P times volume is equals to mass over molecular weight. I don't know single space species. That would mean any type of species you will substitute here. Okay? Times RT. Okay? Ganon. So, so for the molecular weight, again, algebra, crisscross multiplication. So, molecular weight is equal to, okay? Molecular weight is equal to uh, MRT over pressure times volume. Okay, this one. Molecular weight is equal to the mass times the specific gas constant, the capital T temperature in Kelvin, over pressure times volume. Or we can also compute for the mass. Okay, this is equation number four. Okay, equation number four. Ganon. So our equation number five will be the mass. Mass is equal to the uh, gas constant times temperature and the numerator of the molecular weight times the pressure times the volume for equation number five. Okay? So we have now equations in a row. Okay? We're relating number of moles, mass, molecular weight, and density in ideal gas solution. Ganon. At standard temperature and pressure. Okay, guys. Now I will explain to you also that uh, the universal gas constant, you can compute that by using the ideal solution or ideal gas at STP. If you cannot memorize the value of the universal gas constant, then compute and derive that through PV is equals to NRT and substitute the standard quantities in there, and then you can obtain the value of R if you don't want to memorize. But we as chemical engineers, engineering students before or now <laughs> if there are chemical engineering students listening to me right now or bs chemistry students listening to me right now or any students taking up chemistry lecture okay so for us we need to memorize at least two values of universal gas constant capital r okay so because it will take time for you in the actual examination in the future if you keep on deriving and it's very easy to memorize memorize at least two to four maximum values of R. Anyhow, you can also derive, but it will take a time talaga siya. Kasi time limited kasi yung examination. Okay, so restricted time. Uh, time constraint. Something like that. So, memorize R is equals to 8.3145 joules per mole Kelvin. That is a constant. And if you don't want, if you don't want that in terms of joules, in terms of energy, then you can have also in terms of liter atmosphere. Okay, it's gonna be 0 0.0805 liter atmosphere over mole Kelvin. Okay, but in physics and physical chemistry and thermodynamics, the most applicable is the 8.3145 joules per mole Kelvin. You know why? Because those subjects are usually with energy. And energy, the unit of energy is joule. You get a point, okay? So joule is equivalent to Newton meter, right? If you remember physics and chemistry, right? And Newton is equal to kilogram meter per second squared. Okay, something like that. You get a point, okay? So you should remember also two, at least two lang siya, ha? Okay, for your R. Para tuloy tuloy yung ligaya when you solve any quantity of ideal gas constant in terms of mass transfer. Actually, mass transfer is not limited to solids, to liquid. It can also be applied with gas. A combination of the three phases. It depends on the situation. Okay? Something like that. Okay. In the laboratory, 
you will be using the burette also huh? in doing that because there's a liquid right and you have to titrate like that okay then oh my gosh the change the color change meaning oh my gosh that's one identification the color changes the chemicals involved are establishing the equilibrium point okay equilibrium point uh, the behavior usually the boiling point okay and the corresponding relative volatility something like that okay it has been reached your equilibrium point the color will change okay for chemicals because there's a reason for that and technically those are the physical properties okay you get the point so I'm gonna change on my color because there's there is a chemical change okay like that okay color is one identification of a chemical change okay Spe aside from heating it, it out okay so apart from the smell and the decomposition of solids and substances like that okay residues or whatever chuba chu chu alteration alteration from the original substance to another substance okay it will create another phase for example if it is a solid and then baden it will become a liquid so there's a chemical change involved okay because it alters the original composition of that substance as a chemical change okay like that so question number five is equals to molecular weight is a pressure oh my gosh times the volume of rp so another equation five equations in a row okay so ikapoy na ko derive five equations man sa nakutub okay then we need to relate that with mole fraction and mass fraction okay nandiyan na naman tayo okay so, kaya mga mole fraction and mass mawala, hindi siya ay katapusan sa chemical engineering because it's always been used in physical and chemical separation process. The percent percent chuva chu chu. Okay, what goes in, what comes out, okay, the feed, okay, the product, the destiny, the bottom, okay, like that. So, walang katapusan, okay, there's always a percentage by volume or volume percent or volume fraction. We have also mass fraction or percentage by mass or mass percent, okay? And you have also mole percent, mole fraction or percentage by mole, okay? Like that. And we can also have, if you want to, volume fraction, okay? Percentage by volume and then volume fraction also, like that. And we have also pressure fraction. Pressure fraction will be pressure. Pressure of the solute over pressure of the solution times 100 percent is also pressure fraction or percentage by pressure. Okay, if you are a chemical engineering student, do not limit yourself to mole fraction and mass fraction. Explore to other quantities also. Okay, such as pressure fraction, volume fra uh, density fraction. Okay, like that. We have also that one diffusion fraction. Okay, what you are having in your mind. If it is a fraction, it is a unit less. Okay, there's no unit in it because it has the same unit in the numerator and in the denominator. So that is usually a ratio. R-A-T-I-O. Ratio. No unit. Okay? Measure dimensionless and unit less. Okay, that's a ratio, something like that. Okay? So not limited only to that. We just have density fraction, uh, diffusion fraction. Okay, and a whole lot more. Okay, kita mangul chemical engineering. Uh, di man tanan. Okay, because uh, most of us, mo kuto perdita sa katong dipanglo. Okay, we should explore more. Okay, especially to the common stuffs that the, our instructors are delivering in our discussion. Ha, a big cake, mal fraction na magigamit per me, mas fraction na magigamit. Dili na tamo consider sa oban. Remember, guys. In non-ideal gas law, in using Van der Waals equation, pressure fraction is very important. Okay, because you know, we need to determine the intermolecular forces of those molecules. Okay, especially when the compressibility factor of a gas is more than one, and less than one. That, that is no longer an ideal gas. Be careful. Okay, because we keep on solving ideal gas only, ideal solution, but in the future examination, it will not like that. And how can we test that? By having the formula, compressibility factor Z is equal to the pressure times the molar volume over the universal gas constant times the temperature. Bingo! We can determine which is an ideal solution, non-ideal solution, which is a real gas and a non-real gas. Okay? 
You get the point? Real gas is an ideal gas. <laughs> non-ideal gas is a non-real gas. The same lang siya in definition again. Ideal gas is a real gas or a perfect gas. Okay? And the non-ideal gas is also a non-real gas or a non-perfect gas. So, take note with the terminologies also, ha? Okay, sometimes also, calculate the number of moles of a, of a non-real gas. Oh, nga, nga Because we are master only, ideal, ideal, and ideal, ganon. So, we should explore more for the terminologies. Okay, because uh, the questions are expressed in English language. Okay, so we will interpret that well if we have so many vocabularies in our brain cells. Okay, something like that. Okay. So, we have five equations now. We need to wrap up things here. Okay? Equation number one. Uh, density is equal to pressure times the mass over the number of moles times the universal gas constant times T. Equation number two. Pressure is equal to the concentration times the universal gas constant times T. Equation number three. Concentration is equal to pressure over RT. Uh, equation number four. Molecular weight is equal to the mass times the universal gas constant times T over the pressure times volume. Equation number 5, molecular weight times pressure times B over RT. Equation number 5. Okay, guys? Okay, it's really right. Okay. The Bluetooth device is really too pale. Okay, let's use the microphone now. Okay, to intensify my voice and to have a clear audibility or audio. <laughs> audibility talaga. Okay? Like that. So we have five equations na talaga siya. And then if you want to have other equations, you can have. So maximize it, no problem. This is only an example. Okay? Something like that. So we need to connect this in mass transfer equations also. Ha? Okay? So how can you do this? Guys! So, for example, guys, uh, mass transfer siya. Um, there are also a combination sometimes, momentum transfer, mass transfer, heat transfer. So, you need also to account the steady state flow in the Bernoulli theorem. Uh, mass flow rate and uh, volumetric flow rate like that. Okay, usually because the, the liquid and gases are moving always moving, you know, moving, or else there will be no chemical reactions if they don't move. You get a point. Okay, so they should move so that they can establish a kinetic energy. Okay, so that there will be a bombardment of molecules one over the other so that we can have a chemical reaction. That's a requirement for a chemical reaction. It must have a kinetic energy and that is the minimum activation energy to uh, collide the moles and the molecules in a particular container or any particular medium. Medium meaning a pipe, a vessel, a tub, whatever. Okay? So, be careful also because it is not only limited to mass transfer, sometimes a combination of all in the problem solving. Okay, like this. Okay? I use these five equations. We can relate the volumetric flow rate here also. And the mass flow rate here also. We can insert in these five equations also and we create another formula. That's, uh, that's the magic of science. We can have billions of formulas and equations if you want. Because I'm not good in mathematics, but I know what's the, you know, the chance really are. Because we have the probability and statistics. Okay, we oh my gosh, there is one formula. And through that one formula, you can establish a trillions and thousands equations out of that. Okay, so that's the, the magic and the wonders of science and mathematics. Okay, so if you remember, if you study probability and statistics, so there will be a lot of probabilities and chances. It's just the same here in the formulas and equations. So do not limit to the, you know, for this particular equation. But always retain in your brain cells the most basic formulas and equations before extending it to most complex formulas and equations or else you will get lost in the future. So focus that's a pinaka major major and then extend to other formulas and equations and correlate that one and create and derive another formula something like that okay it's easy to derive also especially if we are finishing the if you are completing the calculus subjects and the algebra 
usually integration, differentiation, certain limits, limits, ganun siya, chuba, chuchu. So, and then algebra also. Kasi ka na lang tulo, algebra, calculus, differential calculus, and integral calculus. Because trigonometry will just follow regarding the shapes, geometry, right? The circle, the trapezoid, the rhombus, the sphere, the volume of a sphere, like that. Okay, and then what else? A lot the Pythagora theory. Okay, the law of right triangle. Okay, the Pythagora. The scientist called Mr. Pythagora. That's why it's become Pythagora theorem in algebra. The law of right triangle. If it's not a right triangle, then do not apply also Pythagora theorem. Okay, pungsa. Okay, it's gonna be like that. Okay, because we have also that right. Isosceles triangle, obtuse triangle. All right. We have also that in the uh, uh, elementary level mathematics. Okay? So it's gonna be like that. Okay, guys? So, ato rin na siya i-apply ang kuha mga mole fraction and mass fraction. Okay? So, I need to get a block sheet of paper. Na we. Uy, makabuhan ka ba, Jude? Charm. Makabuhan siya na makalingaw, okay? Because ang take of chemical engineering. But one advantage of taking up this chemical engineering is you have full time. Okay, full time. F-U-L-L-T-I-M-E. Okay, if you extend your time to another chuba chuchu, then you know how intelligent you are sometimes. Okay, kuwang siya. <laughs> so, lagi, so we should have an adequate time and preparation. Like that. Okay? Because there's a lot of, you know, formulas and equations, process, and you have to memorize and to understand. Okay? Including also the contribution of different scientists. In my part, I really memorized. Okay? So others, they don't memorize because they, that is not an equation, that is not a formula. Okay? That is an, a theory. Because the disadvantage of other, this is disclaimer, this is my opinion. The, the disadvantage of other examinees and other students, they don't memorize if they think that it's not mathematical. Okay? But, but for me, even though that is not mathematical, I will memorize. Okay? Especially theories, concepts, principles, then reading, understanding, and memorize. Memorizing is the third step. The first step is to read. And then again, read again twice, and then comprehend. And then interpret. Okay? After interpreting, they memorize. Okay? Because if you don't comprehend and you don't have interpretation of what you read, then if you memorize, it will be lost. Okay? In, even you reach 50 years old, 60 years old, like that. Okay? Me, not to be boastful, I still remember the conversion factors between meters and gallons, like that, miles, feet. I am now 45 years old, but I still remember some conversion factors. One mile, 5,280 feet, something like that. Because I memorized that since I was in elementary level of education, the conversion factors. Got the point? Okay? You should not depend that you will only memorize in college, mga muti yun mo anak. Okay? It's not really enough. Okay? So, you know, stack knowledge. Magpundo kita daan since we are in elementary level, okay, at high school and then college. Kaya magbalik-balik ka rin ng chemistry, guys, o physics, na nasa yung physics, chemistry, hindi ka college. Siya rin yung master how to complete the projectile, okay, dropping a stone in a cliff, something like that, using the equations of, you know, gravitational force of Isaac Newton, okay, second law of Isaac Newton or third law of Isaac Newton, siya rin. Okay? And we are computing that also when we are in high school. We have physics in high school. Okay? So, you got the point? So, sa, so in college pala, nag-master na ka dito. Okay? Hindi niya ka mag-memorize kaayo. Okay? But, sad to say, hindi <laughs> uh, magunta na nga na o mentality. Okay? So, that's why, uh, anak also will fail in the examinations. Okay? Like that. And sad to say, not all will be given, uh, you know, uh, a credit to become a licensed chemical engineer or a licensed engineer due to that reasons also. Lack of staff knowledge. 
Okay? Lack of acquired knowledge. Okay? IQ is not enough also. You need to back up with acquired knowledge and stock knowledge. Again, as I told you, there are topics that are not familiar. Okay? You don't encounter that when you are born in earth. And then you have to do that. You can only encounter that if you read books. A lot of books like that. Okay? So as I told you, when you are in your first year college, you go to the library in your extra time. In my part, I am living in city of Naga, upper delivered Tinahan city of Naga. I always bring four to five books in my bag, or three or four books in my bag. Daily, daily, Alatul, going to Natalio Bacalso, Cebu City, going to the upper delivered Tinahan city of Cebu, Naga, something like that. Eh, wakang ko mag-board sa una, kung mag-ulihan ko taga-aglaw. But my bag is full of books. Because I will borrow books in the library every day, daily, daily, and a tool. Okay? Because if I cannot understand, I cannot sleep. Okay? I need really to dig it out. Oh my gosh, what's this? Ganun siya, grabe. Okay? Like that. That's why if I, if I look also at the problems sa sense pa lang, oy, di na lang nila ko siya sulbon because di sulta siya daan. Because if I try to solve that one, di dyan ko matulog. If di rin ako siya masol. So that's why if I will look for the problems that are too complicated, I will never try to solve that one. Okay? Because uh, my attitude really is, I want to solve that. I cannot sleep if I, if I cannot solve. Okay? So that's why I focus more on that. Average, a little bit above average, uh, a little bit difficult. I will never focus on the difficult problems really. Sorry, I'll never focus that. Okay? Though, usahin mo, kung so good ang difficulty, eh, pero in my part, hindi ko ganahan ang difficulty. Kung kusisa na may ganahan ang difficulty. Eh? Fairness. <laughs> Di ba? Okay, guys. Any questions so far? Before proceeding to the mole fraction and the mole fraction. Guys, uh, be careful also ha, in the mole fraction declaration. Okay, because we need to represent y by a siya. Not, not all the time x. Muni makalibog, hindi siya pirimino. Okay. Ang kanilang mong kuhaan, ano yung mga uh, lighter, heavier, just like distillation, right? There's a, oh, more volatile component over the uh, less volatile component, ganon. And then your mole fraction also will have X, Y, X, Y. But there are also uh, topics in our subjects that no like that, only X, mole fraction X only. Okay, and then, oh, sometimes mag-grumble na siya ba, nasa itong brain cells, maglibog ba yata, di ba? Okay. <laughs> may nakaka na mona siya yung disadvantage okay because sa sobrang kadagdagan wala tayong maglibo okay so i have an example for that okay di kay mura maglibo gyud ta usahay okay ato na lang dawaton kay mao jud na okay so small fraction so uh, if we refer to the book of makin feel method makin feel ba siya Okay, so ang XA niya, guys, uh, weight A, WA, ang mass fraction, not MA. Di ba nakakaluka? Okay, di ba small letter M, the mass is small letter M, but then in the, you know, in the topic of mass transfer and distillation, uh, WA siya. Okay, so we will use WA ha, not the MA. So WA mass fraction, kakaluka? Diba? WA is equals to mass fraction ratio. So, the, the mass of the solute or the mass of the species A or component A. Okay, let's say A lang yun siya. Okay, para madali. This is just hypothetical. Meaning, it's not really specific. Hypothetical meaning generic or general for the purpose of discussion. The capital A, the capital B, the capital C, the capital D, uh, variable to represent a substance, okay? But later, when you face and encounter a problem, then use the specific name of that chemicals or substances. Ha! It's gonna be like that. This is only hypothetical because this is only discussion. Okay. MA over M times 100. Okay? This is the, the mass fraction. Okay? Mass fraction or weight fraction is just equal. So equal to the mass 
a over m times 100. Guys, this m in the denominator is the total mass. Okay? Sometimes, other books put t subscript to the m, and sometimes don't put subscript t. Okay? But let's just analyze the if it is in the denominator, that is total always. We will speak about fraction from chuba chu chu. Any kind of fractions. Okay, mass fraction, volume fraction, pressure fraction, density fraction, like that. Okay, diffusion fraction, like that. Okay, viscosity fraction, like that. Okay, conduction fraction, thermal conductivity, whatever. Chuba chu chu. Okay, permittivity. Wabi na. So, permittivity fraction. You know permittivity? Wow. Permittivity we encounters in the you know electromagnetic field. You're studying of quantum mechanics. Okay, it's gonna be like that. Okay, so that is more higher na talaga siya. Okay, so we have the permitti permittivity there. Okay, but that is not applied here. Okay, so W is equals to ma over m times one hundred. So this is our mass fraction. Okay, guys. Okay, now. Kung magisgot ganitang mass, what comes in our mind? Nagduda yun ang density. Ipasok yun sa inyong kuwanahan, yung galamhan. That if you talk about mass, musunod yun na si volume of si density. Okay, in your equations. Ay, nagyan pong duha-duha. Duha na lang siya, duha na lang lubog. Ditsun na yun na. Density, uy, density. Ato yung kuwa ko si density. Kasi maski, magkuyog mo na yun silang tulo. Okay? So, muna siya yung tabo ron. Okay? Now, if we have the mass, nasa yung density. So, may ilusan tala. Density fraction. Okay. So, density of the solute or species A over the density of the solution. So, that is the density fraction. So, percent density. Okay? So, percent density, i-multiply na naman siya 100. Okay? Because there's a percentage. Because percentage meaning you have to use 100. And now the volume, we continue naman ang volume sa density. Density is cost of volume. So, volume fraction po siya. Okay, so volume fraction, volume of solute over volume of solution. Okay, percentage by volume times 100 nandun siya per me. Okay, after dividing the numerator and the denominator times 100, something like that. So, mong focus ang tanang tulog because that is three quantities lang sa density is cost of over volume. Okay, guys? And later na ito mga uban. Molecular weight, concentration, number of moles, and gano'n. Okay, now. Okay, this is mass fraction, ha? So, mass transfer, very important. That's why it's called mass transfer because there's a mass. Okay? So, like that. So, our relation to this is density, right? So, we will get the density of a species or the density of a solute. Okay? So, you guys not necessarily mean a uh, uh, solid, ha, always. It should, uh, sometimes, it, it acts as a gas. It acts as a liquid in a, for example, liquid gas mixture, liquid-liquid mixture, binary mixtures of solvents and liquids, ternary uh, mixtures of gases and liquids. So, not limited only, ha? Okay? So, how can we identify that? We can identify in our brain cells, that the solute is always lesser in component with the solvent. Solvent should always be higher, okay, in the, you know, in the layer, if you mix that in a container, like that, okay? So that's our identification, that solvent is always greater than the solute. Muna siya itong identification siya, visually. So we have also another technical to, uh, to do that also, by using this fraction, fraction, chuba, 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 I teach you now. Okay? It's not all the time also that we can visually imagine that. Okay? It is only good if we mix water and oil. Because water and oil will never dissolve with each other. And oil will be in the upper layer and the water will be in the down layer. So meaning to say, the water is denser, more denser than the oil. Okay? Something like that. So it, it talks about the density na talaga siya. Okay? So here also, so density of A... Okay, so actually this is mass A, guys. So mass A, so atong imagine density is also mass over volume. So density, so unsa mo yun ako siya? Okay, charot. Okay, so mass will be volume times density, right? 
Okay, I, I will put here. Actually, yes, ako. Hindi naman necessary yun ako. Tagsa tagsa. Okay, sa yung naman. Good. Okay. So, density is equals to mass over volume. And we have mass man sa numerator. So, we can say that, okay, that mass is equal to density times volume. I-substitute yun mo sa numerator, sa MA. So, weight fraction is just the same, okay? So, weight fraction is equal to density A times VA na siya. Okay, density A times VA na siya. Okay, now in your mass of the solution, pareho pa rin. So, density of solution, okay, times volume of the solution. Okay. Okay. Muna na siya itong equations na nakuha. Okay. So, mass fraction is equal to the density A times the volume A. So, these are the solutes. Okay, over the density of the solution times the volume of solution. Guys, in mass fraction topic, we treat volume constant. Okay? There's no such change in volume. A, a constant volume. So, we will cancel this volume because this is not our concern. We are concerned only in the concentration gradient, the changes of concentration. So, it will never affect your concentration somewhere along the way. So, that's why we need to Consider volume changes or volume difference or volume gradient as constant or negligible the impact during the you know during this topic you know, presentation. So we will cancel this one. What will remain the density? So we can say na talaga siya that the mass fraction is equal to density of solute over density of solution lang siya. Okay? Because of theory. Okay? So we have now mass fraction w is equal density a over d is also equal mass a over m na ikula ni siya okay ganon ikula ni siya ha okay now this is in terms of mass fraction this is equation number pinan na natin equation number eh equation number 6 okay Equation number six in terms of mass fraction. Okay? With the density. Okay, now, we go now to the mole fraction. Because this mole fraction and mass fraction are very common in mass transfer. Common ng gikay ni Okay? So, mole fraction, NA. So, NA. Or let's say, YA lang siya. Okay, YA. Okay, YA. Okay, YA. Actually, you can designate whatever variable if you really understand, okay? So, YA is mole fraction of A. So, mole of solute, so this is uh, NA over D. Okay. Now, guys, NA over N, sorry. Okay, now, guys, YA is equal to NA over N. So, again, molar mass and molecular weight. So, compute each in terms of molecular weight and molar mass, right, for that in A. And then also in terms of concentration. So, if you are not really patient, okay, you will, you will surrender. Because, you know, it takes a longer time to derive another na naman. Three quantities for this. So, since we know in my past discussion a while ago that concentration is equal to the number of moles over the volume, so we can see directly that uh, number of moles is equal to the concentration times the volume again. So, concentration A times volume A and concentration times volume. Again, the volume will cancel because in mass transfer, the volume is considered negligible and has no effect. So cancel. So what will remain here is the concentration of the solute A over the concentration of the solution is equal to the number of moles of the solute over the number of moles of the solution. This is our equation 7 in terms of mole fraction. Okay? So we have now 7 equations. Okay, now in here, we can have direct proportionality here. In your mole fraction, in your mass fraction, you can observe there's direct proportionality for this and you can play around in solving the WA, WA, 
And why do you like that? Anything you want to, you will, you will, all you have to do is equate. You know, equate, you have to put this in equilibrium. Okay? This two quantities, WA, the mass fraction, the fraction. Okay? So, ganun siya. Makuha na namin mo siya if there's a given in a problem. One of it or two of it, like that, like that. So, you can solve. Okay? So, like that. So, six, seven na siya. Seven equations na siya. Not enough. Also, the molecular weight. Okay? Not enough gid siya kay molecular weight. Pag atong pao ng molecular weight. Nanata in terms, we have in terms of mass, in terms of density, in terms of concentration, in terms of number of moles. So we don't have yet in terms of the molecular weight. So, molecular weight will be applied only in the number of moles, not on the mass. Okay, so number of moles A, how we can compute that one by molar mass. Molar mass equals to the uh, mass over moles. So moles is equals to mass over molar mass. Or mass over the molecular weight. So y a another equation y a is equals to. Pwede tama ngayon bung ato si yag yag. Okay, so molar mass is equal to the mass of species a the the man of number of moles. So number of moles will be the mass of species a over the molecular weight. Okay, so it's gonna be like so mass of the species a over the molecular weight. So if we put species A in the mass, we will put also A in the molecular weight. Okay? So over the mass of the solution sha and the molecular weight of the solution. So the molecular weight of the solution, guys, is very easy. Molecular weight A component plus molecular weight component B. Ganon lang siya, okay? So, ganon. Okay. Now you cannot cancel the molecular weight here. Because it varies somewhere along the way. Okay, it will vary. Okay, so you'll never cancel that one, huh? You get the point? Something like that. Okay, so how can we do this? So it's gonna be YA or the mole fraction is equals to the mass of A over the molecular weight of A over mass of the solution over the molecular weight of the solution. And this is equation number eight. Okay. So we have now equation number 8 in terms of molecular weight. So we have 8 equations all in all na talaga siya. Okay. Now, if we put that in our overall material balance, okay, like this. Say for example, if you have a differential distribution column, how can we do this? Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So feed is equal to distillate plus the bottom product. So, apply na natin mo dahil siyang mga component. Okay, yung pagtulog na ko dito, Ari. Okay? X, A, W, A, ganda na. Okay? So, during the computation na talaga siya. Okay? So, I taught you already how to have the overall material balance, the component balance, and the energy balance, right? Okay? So, energy balance is quite difficult siya will involve kinetic energy, potential energy, the fraction losses. Okay? But the fraction loss is always treated to be zero, especially in the distillation. Just like the principle in physics, ha? Okay? That um, mechanical energy 1 equal to the mechanical energy 2. Mechanical energy 1 is equal to the potential energy plus the kinetic energy plus the fractional energy due to losses okay, or resistance in the surface. Now, equal to 2, a potential energy in point 2, plus kinetic energy in point 2, plus the fractional energy in point 2. Equilibrium with each other. Now, if there's no fraction, then we treat that as zero. Especially if it is only surface. Surface uh, you know, flat. Okay, flat. But it, if it's inclined now, so you will consider that coefficient of fraction for that. Okay, so you will do now the FBD. You remember the FBD? FBD in physics, free body diagram. So you will put now all the forces acting on it. Whether it goes in, it goes out, it goes out, perpendicular, and you have to sum it up. And then the units will be uh, easy, that's Newton, right? Like that, and then you will try to account the 
orientation or the motion. If it's going to the left, negative. If it's going to the right, positive. If it's going up, positive. If it's going down, negative. And bingo, you can solve. It's gonna be like that. Okay, so all you have to do is to, patient, is to be patient. And then, the, if it is an incline, then you must consider the angle of inclination. Okay, it can create uh, anger. So, it can create also the tri triangle, the law of Pythagoras theorem, or apply the law of right triangles. So, C squared is equal to B squared plus E squared, like that hypotenuse squared. Okay, ganan. So, I don't have to. Ganan. And then, if it's necessary also to compute for the quadratic equation, then do that. So, positive minus positive negative B. Okay? Like that, positive B, but B, B squared minus 4AC. Okay? Positive negative B, the square root, okay, of B minus 4AC. C is the constant part, and B is the first variable, like in uh, algebra, linear equation polynomial okay something like so there's also situation like that that this uh, topic will be applied like in this algebra because this is usually linear okay slopes these topics okay, remember reaction kinetics always like that have a slope distillation also have a slope it's always follows the algebra sloping y is equal to mx plus b wherein m is the slope and b is the intercept or the y intercept so this is very useful in graphing the concentrations in your diagrams. Okay, it will help a lot in your mass fraction, in your whole fraction. Then, ganun lang siya, okay? Okay, so, magdodua na ka. Then you, you have to, you know, insert in the overall material balance, component material balance, ganun, ganun siya. And then guys, basis of calculation, ha? Very important. Okay, especially mole fraction and mass fraction, usually 100 is the basis of calculation it could either be 100 moles if it is small fraction it could be 100 uh, grams if it is mass fraction okay because usually no given fee okay there are only the components the mass fraction and mole fraction but so that's why we have the basis of calculation but if there's a fee no need to worry because sometimes you have only to multiply that with a mass fraction or mole fraction like that. We're having the formula, uh, mole percent is equal to mole of the solute, the mole of solution times 100. If your feed in the mixture is 1,000, then substitute that in the equation, and then you can also do like that, okay? So, it looks like a uh, simpler talaga siya. Wow! Ganan! So, anybody, question on oh, no, any questions so far, guys, before ending this live streaming? Okay, so before we go to... Uh, the fixed law of diffusion. Okay, the fixed law of diffusion. And this is actually first law. Wow. And then the mass transfer flux. And then the mass diffusivity. Ganun. So, or the diffusion coefficient. How to compute that one. Ganun. Okay. So, next topic will be dealing like that. Okay, and then problem solving in mass transfer. Okay, then after that we will go to, uh, you know, I think it's gonna be extraction, right? <laughs> extraction after distillation. Okay. Nakalimut mo ko formula sa kwan eh. Mga absorption sa naman to. Wow. Okay. So, thank you so much for watching this live stream and vlogging, guys. You can comment down below in the comment section. And then you can click the notification bell for some newest updates of I Am A Singer, Eternal Voice, like that. Bye-bye. God bless everybody. See you later. Oh, my gosh. The one. Kaloka.